it's me, Emily, and I just wanted to come here today and do another vegan favorites video. I've been trying so many new vegan things, and I thought I would share them with you guys today. So first we're going to start off with the beauty related items, and then we'll go to the food related items. So the first product I have is called Quick Curls, and it's by Miss Jessie's. And it's just like a scrunching gel or scrunching cream to make your hair curly. And it says no animal ingredients and on the back it also says no animal testing. It works really, really nicely and it gives you a nice curl without having the crunchy feeling to your hair. So I really like this a lot. The next product I have is Batiste. It's their dry shampoo and they are also vegan and they also do not have any animal testing as well. It says on the back here. This one is in the floral essence scent and it smells amazing. I love this smell. I always get mine at Marshalls because it's like a few dollars cheaper than getting it at the grocery store. I believe they're around eight dollars if you get them at like Ulta or King Supers, uh, Walmart, places like that. But at Marshalls, they're only $5.99 for this thing. And yeah, I love Batiste. They always, all of their scents smell so good. And the fact that they're vegan makes it even better. Alrighty, the next beauty product I have is by Pacifica. It's the Coco Pure Makeup Removing Wipes. And I love these. They smell so good. Anything with coconut always smells amazing to me. And they really work. They take off your makeup really nicely. When you wake up in the morning, it just feels nice and smooth, and I love that. These are amazing. This is the first item I've tried of Pacifica, and I'm really liking it, so I might go get some more of their items and review them for you guys if you'd like. All right, so the last beauty-related item that I have is called Buddha Butter. Right here, could you see it? Gorgeous. So it took me a long time to find this in stores. I've been looking for it forever because a few people that I follow on Instagram have had this and they said it smells like chocolate or chocolate cake and that is very true. It definitely smells like chocolate. It's amazing. It's really, really good for dry skin or just if you want to smell like chocolate cake because who doesn't want to smell like chocolate cake? And it's also vegan and cruelty free. So awesome product. So now I'm going to be moving into my food items that I've recently tried. So the first one is by the brand Rudis or Rudy's. I don't know how to pronounce these things. I'm sorry. But it's this brand right here. And these are the whole grain sandwich flats and these are vegan. So I'm not sure if every product they make is vegan. It might be. I'm not exactly sure but it will always tell you on the back. And they taste delicious too. You wouldn't even know the difference. I am a big fan of peanut butter and jelly. So that being said, since I'm such a big fan of peanut butter and jelly, you know I had to go out and get me some vegan peanut butter and jelly. The jelly or spread that I use is this by World of Chia. It's Chia and Blackberry Fruit Spread. And this is so good. Oh, it just tastes amazing. And it does say vegan on the package, which is very helpful. That way I don't have to wonder. And the peanut butter that I have been using is this. It's by Peanut Butter & Co. Company. It's a white chocolate wonderful. Yes, it is vegan. It actually does say it on the back. It's amazing. This one has been my favorite because it's white chocolate flavored peanut butter. How could that not be the most amazing thing in the world? So next brand is Gardein. Not these things in particular, but I have tried their orange chicken and their beefless grounds and their meatless meatballs. I've never tried this specific item, but this is all I had as far as packaging goes to show you guys the brand Gardein. But yeah, Gardein is one of my favorite fake meat companies. Um, I don't eat like fake meat all the time. I usually try to stick with fruits and vegetables and whole grains. But when I do want a good fake meat product, I do go for Gardein. Uh, I've not tried one bad product from Gardein. Props to you, Gardein. The next product is also a fake meat product. So this was by Light Life and it's their Smart Ground Mexican Crumbles. And I was kind of nervous about trying this because I'm such a big fan of Gardein's crumbles. The taste is on point. It tastes so good. Now none of these products really taste like meat to me because if they did I would not be eating them but they taste good. It's a good substitute 
for me. So the next item that I have is by Mary's Gone Crackers and I just bought these really really recently to go with some of my hummus that I had. So these are the herb flavored and they are gluten free and vegan and they taste amazing. It tastes like if you made homemade crackers. They're very seedy and nutty and they do taste like herb and garlic so they're amazing. I really really like these a lot. I would definitely be repurchasing these in the future. Guys, we're on to our last product of today. So this is very new for me as well. I used to buy the same protein powder every single time I went to the store. I would always go to Nutribiotic and get their vanilla rice protein powder, the vegan one. But I had a moment where the store that I go to to get that was closed and I needed protein powder that day. So I had to go to my local grocery store and they had this brand called Vega or Vega. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Don't ask me how to pronounce things guys. I have no idea. But this is the protein and greens chocolate flavor. And the thing that I like about this is that there's 20 grams of protein per serving, which is amazing. I don't remember how much my old protein powder had, but it definitely was not 20 grams of protein. So it has like spinach powder, broccoli powder, kale powder, and it's chocolate flavored. Who does not want chocolate flavored protein? Like, this is amazing. I usually blend this up with a banana and some almond milk, and it tastes so good. I don't think that I'll be ever going to a different protein powder again. All right guys, those were all of my favorite vegan items that I've tried in the past couple months. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you do have any questions about any of the products or veganism or anything like that, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. I will always answer questions about veganism because it is such a big part of my life. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!